The Arctic is on the far north of the world. Parts of Greenland, Russia, and Canada are in the Arctic. The average temperature in the winter is negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. In the summer, the average temperature is 50 degrees. Primitive lichens and dwarf trees grow in the tundra, and in the summer, flowers bloom. In the summer, many species, including birds, insects, caribou, grizzly bears, and polar bears, migrate to the tundra. Polar bears are at the top of the food chain, with humans, wolves, wolverines, and hawks. The Arctic is changing a lot. It's raining more and more, snowing less and less. Rising temperatures means the ice sheets, glaciers, and permafrost are melting at an alarming rate. The sea level is getting higher and higher every year. Why does it matter? Lots of species depend on the icy climate, like polar bears, seals, and walruses. Even people are suffering because the Arctic is melting. Polar bears are suffering because the Arctic is melting. They hunt on ice floes because that's where they can find their main food source, seals. As the ice melts, polar bears have to swim farther to find seals. The sea ice is melting earlier each spring, so polar bears' hunting season is shorter and shorter. Polar bears are becoming thinner, and they are having fewer cubs. Permafrost is melting. Trees are starting to grow where they have not grown before, crowding out lichen. Lichen is important because some animals, like caribou feed on it during cold months. Since caribou are a food source for bears and wolves, they will also become threatened to extinction. The ice sheets are also melting faster. This will increase global warming because water reflects less heat than ice does. This might seem surprising to some people, but groups of people live in the Arctic, and they will be forced to move inland because ice sheets are melting and they are losing their land. People such as the Inuit are losing their traditional food, such as seals, polar bears, and caribou. If we do not do something about climate change, scientists predict that 20% of all plants and animals could be extinct. A lot of them, ice will melt, there will be flooding, and some species will become extinct because they are not used to the high levels of water. Plants will be affected, and so will the animals that eat them. Some people will have to leave their houses that are on the coast. Water might become more polluted. Parts of the Alaskan tundra will not exist anymore. New plants and animals may take over. More methane and carbon may be released.